The Bartini Bari VVA-14 was envisioned as a vertical takeoff amphibious aircraft that was a wing and ground effect airplane developed for the Soviet Union during the early 1970s. The ultimate goal of this craft was to be utilized as a U.S. missile sub-hunter, but also served as a technology testbed in multiple phases along the way in its development. After extensive research and development with smaller prototype craft and multiple models, the VVA-14 M1 was developed. While it was intended to be an amphibious craft, Phase 1 was launched from a traditional runway. Ultimately, its main mode of transportation was to be utilizing the ground effect through its design, but it was also made to be able to perform like a traditional aircraft with higher altitudes and maneuverability. Some suggest that because of this, it isn't classified as a true Ekronoplan. Conclusions from this phase of flight testing were that the ground effect was even more effective than originally planned with the design, and that the inflatable pontoons that were used during water taxiing tests were not going to fit the bill, and that would need to be addressed for the next phase of testing. Phase 2 introduces us to the VVA-14M1P most notable changes being the starter thrusters on the front of the craft and the no longer inflatable but now rigid pontoons. Sadly this is basically where the story ends. This aircraft never got past this phase, it was never able to take flight from this phase, and Bartini died in 1974. And with that interest in the project it kind of fizzled, as well as the fact that other more sensible technologies had kind of been invented to solve the sub-hunting problems that this was going to address. Now, as is often the case with history's misfits, I had a little more luck with my design. The starter thrusters were added to the front to make up for the missing V-12 engines that were not yet manufactured, as well as to encourage the ground effect used by the craft which is sort of nicely illustrated by the exhaust here. Ground effect is basically this. When a plane is flying at or lower than its wingspan, uh, there is an effect that is noticeable caused by the interruption of the vortices behind the wings from the ground. This interruption results in a lower induced drag, which increases the speed and lift. This is something that all aircraft experience, but it's something that the Russians specifically tried to exploit in their Ekranoplan designs that have become famous. The never actualized Phase 3 would see the starter thrusters removed and the VTOL engines added, as well as being fully armed. well, both factually and fictionally, through our first two phases, only now in phase three do we see the true perfection of this design. I will now shut up for a while so you can properly enjoy Russian perfection as it smoothly glides over the ocean surface. The original intent for this craft was to be hunting U.S. missile subs, so it does maintain its ability to break from ground effect and fly like a traditional aircraft. The fully armed Phase 3 craft would also be outfitted with a computerized anti-submarine warfare system, a magnetic anomaly detector, and other operational equipment to hunt its prey.
the obvious benefits of the VTOL engines is to allow for potential for more precise landings. I hope you enjoyed this History's Misfits, and please like and subscribe to see more.